Hi cozy friends, hi cozy family, how are we? So I loved making seasonal game recommendation videos for the fall. If you haven't seen that and you're still in a fall mood, go check it out. But I'm gonna make a winter Switch recommendation list. So this is 10 cozy games for the winter. All of these are on Switch, but some of them are also available on PC and I'll list that as well. So these are the games for turning on, curling up with a cozy blanket, some cocoa, and you know, watching the snow fall outside. Or if you're in California like me, pretending to watch the snow fall outside. So let's jump right in. The first is Skyrim. So Skyrim is a fantasy open world RPG, which I love that you have a lot of freedom of progression in the game. You can kind of focus on side quests. You can focus on the main overarching quest. You can do nothing and ride around on your horse in the snowy mountains. And I just love when games have so much freedom that it's whatever you make of it. I think that makes a game so cozy. So Skyrim has some amazing wintry scenes in the map. So it's the perfect open world RPG for the winter. The next is Celeste. So Celeste is a platformer that is just perfect for the winter because it's a platformer about completing a journey to the top of Celeste Mountain, which is this very snowy, icy mountain. But there is a huge disclaimer along with Celeste. If you are not a fan of difficult platformers, this game is not for you. I'm personally not a fan of difficult platformers, but there's so many people in the cozy gaming community that love Celeste, swear by it. So I have to recommend it because it's perfect for the winter and you might like it. So if you don't like dying a million times to kind of get to the path of figuring out how to complete a level, maybe not for you. If you do like it, you like a little bit of a challenge, it's perfect. The animation is so cute and wintry and the music is amazing and also very wintry and seasonal. So it will be cozy cozy and story and atmosphere, but you will be raging in your wintry coziness. Next is Gris. And speaking of beautiful music, Gris is another puzzler platformer game with just amazing atmosphere and music. I'm not gonna lie, I definitely had to look up solutions to this game. I'm somebody who still gets joy and like has fun playing puzzle games where I have to look up solutions. Overall, it's, it's like a pretty challenging puzzle game, but it's very emotional. It has themes of grief. It's just the perfect game for a little bit of wintry introspection while appreciating a very crisp, beautiful watercolor atmosphere in the game. The next is Abzu. Stay with me here. This one might be a little harder to track in terms of winter, but it is a diving game where you're exploring the depths of the sea and discovering new species. It's definitely an at your own pace game. It's beautiful, it's magical, and it's blue. It's so blue, which is why I'm recommending it for winter because I'm a very visually aesthetic mood person. You know, the aesthetic that I'm looking at affects my mood and kind of my seasonal vibes. There's just an endless sea of blue because you're exploring the sea, so I think it's perfect for winter. So if you're looking for cold blue water exploration, Abzu is for you. The next is Faircroft's Antiques Home for Christmas. And this one is for all my point and click people. It's not only perfect for winter, but for a very special, specific holiday in winter. So this is the game to pull up like two days before Christmas, a day before Christmas, Christmas day. This is the game for that because it's all about Christmas. So the main goal is to find hidden objects and these beautiful pictures. There's mini games along with it. The overarching plot is to restore pieces of art and it's very wholesome, it's very cute. And by the same publishers, there's Faircroft's Antiques Treasures of Treffenberg, which is a little less Christmassy, but it's still very wintry because it's set in a snowy Austrian town. Both of these are perfect for a winter point and click. And if you finish one and you're hungry for another, you can go for the next one. They do go on sale for like $2.99 here and there. So if you check Deku Deals, which I always have it linked in the description because it's my favorite site, check Deku Deals, put it on your wish list, and then you'll get a notification when it goes on sale for $2.99. Because I think, I think $2.99 is the more appropriate price for the point and click types of games. What comes after is the next one. So this is by the same creators as Coffee Talk, which again, I talk about in my fall recommendation list. So you know it's gonna be cozy and amazing and perfect for winter. The description says it's a love letter to all of you who think you're a burden for other people. So just like a lovely concept, a lovely idea. You talk to people on a train as 
they're in their afterlife limbo kind of situation, similar to Spirit Fair. You learn about their stories, their lives, their relationships, and they do it in a really like comedic and interesting way. It's a journey about self-love as well. The aesthetics feel a little wintry to me as well because it's like kind of galaxy starry and again, blue, <laughs> blues and purples. So perfect for winter. The next is the Red Lantern. So in the Red Lantern, you're a snow dog pack sled leader and you're trying to survive in a harsh Alaskan wintry wilderness and you've become lost so you're trying to find your way back home. There's beautiful beautiful snowy surroundings but it is harsh nonetheless. There's a lot of encounters with like wildlife and different obstacles on your way home but on the way you're collecting all of these snow dogs and each one of them has like a different personality and a different look and it's so freaking cute and yes Yes, you can pet them, you can pet them. The next is Roki. Roki is an adventure and puzzle game based on Scandinavian folklore. You explore, you meet and befriend these monsters with this overarching goal of saving your family. Think Breath of the Wild with cute monster friends and a snowy Scandinavian setting. Perfect to get cozy with, explore and solve little wintry puzzles. The next is the first tree. This is a story about a fox trying to find her missing family. It's touching, it's emotional, it's short and sweet with some puzzles to solve, but it's a joy. And the real joy is, I think, in experiencing the story. It's got some beautiful wintry scenes as well. So it's perfect since it's short for like one winter night. Put it on, finish it, just experience the story, you know, like watching a movie. And this is one I get recommended on TikTok a lot. And the last one is Project Winter. So I saved this for last because it's multiplayer and I know not all of us have big groups of friends. And so I haven't gotten around to playing this because it requires like five people minimum, I think. So think among us, but also survival. So you gather resources, you try to survive in a harsh wintry setting. But as a trader, you're trying to stop people from es escaping and you're trying to kill them before they escape. And as survivors, you have to work together because you can't survive out alone in the wilderness by yourself for long because one, you'll be an easy target to any traders and two, the surrounding wilderness will just like get to you much quicker because you don't have the support of other people getting the supplies you need and the varied supplies you need and all that. So you have to work together, but then the need to work together makes you more susceptible to being killed by the trader. It's just so interesting and fun. So my goal for this winter is finally getting my friends together to try this one out because it seems so fun. So those are my 10 wintry game recommendations for the Switch. I hope you have a lovely wintry cozy time with these games this winter and this holiday season. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye!